So I just wanted to show you guys a few of my braiding essentials. And we're going to start with the spool rack that I actually just got. It has 60 of these little holders. They're actually for sewing. That can be picked up at Walmart. Um, they're about $10 at Walmart. I actually just purchased this. Um, they can be purchased at Amazon, on Amazon, um, wherever like sewing supplies are sold. The next thing we have is Sanex. I use Sanex for laying my braids down, like when I do cornrows or if I need to lay your edges down during a lock retwist, I use um, Sanex paper. Shine and Jam and the Jam. I use Shine and Jam for edges and I also use it sometimes for braiding and for cornrows. The regular Jam, I really only use that for locks. I like using jam for locks because I like the shine that it adds to dreads when they fully dry. They keep your locks really, really moisturized and they hold really well. Some people might have an issue with this, but I still braid with grease. Grease has never done me wrong. Grease has never stared me wrong. My clients have, the majority of them have beautiful, healthy hair. I usually don't braid damaged hair anyway so um yeah blue magic never did anything to me so i still use it i've been braiding for over 20 years and i started out with that and i'm going to finish with it styling foam i use uh after dipping braids like the ends i add that to cornrows when I'm actually um, finished them and I have to lay them down with Sanex. Sometimes I'll use spritz. Sometimes I'll add um, a little bit of the Blue Magic to the ends. That's the secret to having pretty smooth and shiny ends when you're braiding. Is After you finish all your braids, you grab a bit of the um, Blue Magic smooth it down on the ends and then dip it that prevents them from becoming fuzzy and making them look old and having to be redipped and i use eco style gel with my um box braids and a lot of the braid services i do like my knotless box braids i use that um, of course, you want to have your clips handy and have them close by. I use this larger rack to hold on to my hair sometimes when I have it like super bunched up or I'm using multiple packs and I need something higher or something that's like right within arm's reach. I use this. I also use it when I do like my yarn braids sometimes or when I'm making a set of custom crochet. I tie these across the bars from here to here so that I can twist. I'll twist it down the row and it'll give me like a full set of maybe like a hundred twists. So I'll do like those bundles straight across on here and this is actually one of my favorite things which is the IVAC you can see I swept a little hair up in front of the IVAC just so you guys can see how it works and really this is what it does It is a vacuum that you sweep up to and that really comes in handy with all the smaller particles that are hard to pick up 
the big pieces of hair that fall on the floor I usually just pick those up and I sweep the remaining smaller pieces into my IVAC and it works like a dream like that is one of my favorite items in my salon thank you for watching I hope you find this video and this information useful and I will see you in the next video